One of the biggest challenges for mass-producing cars is maintaining demand. The car market is incredibly competitive and things are changing all the time. And to design new cars and the best cars, we need to have the best facilities. We also do research and development processes here in the headquarters of Volkswagen. They have a state-of-the-art research and development centre right here at the Wolfsburg plant. When you're designing a car, there are lots of different constraints. Some of them are just the laws of physics, but others are making sure that whatever it is you've designed is actually able to be manufactured. And that's why it's really important that the guys in R&D are talking to the people who are actually going to have to build the thing. Having the designers and engineers in close proximity makes the evolution from concept car to mass production much faster. Before a car goes into mass production, design does have to meet engineering. And at that point, the engineers get involved and will say, right, actually for this design to become reality, we're going to need to do ABC. There is a massive importance given to testing of prototypes. Precision down to every detail really matters. Having no gaps in the door and no sounds or no sound flushes at any point. Opening and closing doors, testing the suspension up and down in an actual environment. And that is really critical in today's environment. Inside one of the most recent buildings at the plant is a new $110 million test center that can analyze new designs five times faster than its predecessor. With high volumes of new models being made, any improvement can be very valuable and any mistake can be disastrous. Computer simulations are one thing, but the acid test is to put it in a wind tunnel. In our original tunnel, we needed up to 30 minutes to load a car. And now we can manage it in under five minutes. It's directly in the middle. The wind tunnel at Wolfsburg is an absolute feat of engineering. It looks like something out of the future. This tunnel is very fast. We can simulate driving at 155 miles per hour. Generating this kind of wind speed requires a colossal state-of-the-art 3,000 kilowatt fan. This is our fan with a diameter of 26 feet. This is the heart of our testing track. The pressure to maximize performance is so high that the company broke the rules. Volkswagen's reputation was seriously damaged in 2015 after the company admitted installing software in millions of their cars to cheat emissions tests. Volkswagen knew of these problems. And when regulators expressed concern, Volkswagen obfuscated, they denied, and they ultimately lied. The scandal put top executives in jail, and VW had to pay more than $30 million in compensation. Despite this, in 2016, VW became the world's most successful car manufacturer by sales. But building huge numbers of cars creates yet another problem. It's really critical to remember that the work does not end at the end of the line. We don't build cars just in case we sell them. You'd overrun the factory. There's only so much space available and how much of that space do you really want to give to turn into a parking lot? You need a really efficient distribution system to, to move the car from the factory to the customer around the world. A car can roll off the assembly line and be delivered to somewhere as far away as Shanghai at a phenomenal speed. Wolfsburg builds so many cars that simply shifting them off the site is an industry in itself. The solution is pretty neat, if not challenging. The same network that brings in the raw materials brings the finished vehicles out, and that's principally the trains. Every working day, about 1,800 cars leave the factory by freight train.
The challenge is to keep each train's waiting time to the minimum. Conventionally, you'd use a process known as shunting, which is where you bring in an individual train carriage, load it up with cars, then drag it out again and couple it onto the rest of the train. And you can't do more than one of these carriages at a time. So it's incredibly long-winded and inefficient. Instead, the Wolfsburg factory has a specially designed multiple loading bay. We have a big advantage here, working with a sliding stage. It means that we can do three work processes at once. First, cars are driven onto an empty carriage. Then the giant sliding stage moves the full carriage directly to the track where the engine is waiting. At the same time, cars are driven onto the next empty carriage. The upshot of this basically is that they can load multiple carriages in much quicker succession. 